Welcome to the robot tutorial, Dime Stopping. A Dime Stop is a foundation of the robot dams. It can help you become cleaner, have more precise movements, and it also helps you to dance slower. So we'll be going over three things, the concept of Dime Stopping, how to actually do a Dime Stop, and some tips and drills. This will be a very short tutorial. So the concept of Dime Stopping came from the saying, stopping on a dime. You know, when you're walking down the street, and you suddenly see a diamond, so you just kind of stop right there, look down, and grab it. It's the same concept as that. So, how to actually do a diamond stop is to move in random motions and then just kind of stop. Move again, stop. Move again, stop. So, you're trying to stop as much as possible. You, you gotta stay still, so you give the effect of, you know, you're like a machine that's not really fully capable of moving in a fluid kind of motion. So you just learn how to actually do a dime stop. It is uh, some very simple concept, but it does take work to get your dime stop to look sharp and clean. So you can practice as a tip. You can practice every single part of your body. You got your head, you have your torso, you have your legs, which is by the way the hardest thing you know ever. It's like boom, boom, boom. You have your arms, hands, so you just practice your entire body for dime stopping. Try to keep your core as tight as possible as it does help to um, distribute momentum throughout your body instead of just, you know, having really kind of boring kind of effects because the cleaner your dime stops are, the more you can venture outside of it and doing bounces, shakes, and actually hitting when you're dime stopping. So another tip is to take it in intervals. So maybe four second intervals into two second intervals into one second intervals. So you're moving for four seconds, stop for four seconds. Move four seconds, stop for four seconds. Move for four seconds, stop for four seconds. Until you can start doing it into smaller and smaller intervals, which will then lead you to be able to do um, what we refer to in popping as strobing. So strobing is basically just Dime stops, except in really small intervals. Remember to practice every single portion on your body for dime stopping. So you have every single part of your body. It's not just you know moving your arm one direction. There are many directions. Some are a lot harder to stop than others. You have your body. You have your legs. You have turning your head, but not just sideways. You have up, down, forward, back. So just really explore into it, but take it slow. Practice full body dime stopping first for really long intervals until you can get the feel for stopping completely. As I mentioned before, the tutorial is pretty quick. So we just went over the concept of dime stopping, how to actually do a dime stop, and some tips and drills. So if you have any questions, just post a comment or leave me a message.